All right, we have this uh, cold copper acetate catalyzed oxidation of benzoin reaction here. And uh, we want to filter the benzyl, which is that light yellow color. And so we'll take a piece of seven centimeter filter paper here and we'll gently get some water on this to wet it. We'll cover the holes here, attach the vacuum to the sidearm, and then we'll fire up this uh, more rapidly here. All right. So we've got suction here. Don't have the usual helper to hold this tubing for me, so let me see if I can position this good. Okay. Okay, I think that's stable. So let's go ahead and uh, filter this now. Use some ice cold water here to uh, rinse our equipment. Rinse the sides of the flask there. And this is ice cold water. Still got the ice cubes in there. And uh, that's kind of the best we can we can do there. Um, we'll, uh, try to get that water dispensed over the surface of the solid there. Last rins here. So that might be around 10 or 15 milliliters. Let me try to position the camera here so you can take a look at the solid. It's a uh, kind of a yellowish tint to it. So we'll let this air dry here maybe about five minutes and then we'll set it out to just air dry until the next laboratory period and then we'll go ahead and weigh it when it's dry to calculate the yield. Five minutes later. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop this now. Break the vacuum by disconnecting this sidearm. And we will just set this aside. So I'll put a label on it so I don't forget which reaction it is. We'll go ahead and filter the Copper nitrate catalyzed oxidation of benzoin. And we'll just do exactly what we did before using a different Buchner funnel. So we'll wet some filter paper here. Okay, position the vacuum tubing here, start the vacuum, okay, this has been kept cold in the refrigerator, so now we'll go ahead and uh, Filter it. Okay. Look 
it's very similar to the other color. And we'll use ice water once again to uh, wash out the solid from this uh, beaker here. here. We'll uh, drip the water on top of uh, the solid a couple times here. So that's total rinse about 10 to 12 milliliters. Okay, so we'll let the vacuum pull through the crystals there to pull any adjacent water through. And then uh, air dry for five minutes or so, and then we'll uh, set this aside to dry overnight until the last lap, next lab period. This doesn't amount to a huge amount of solid, but um, there is a little bit that adheres to the beaker, and so that might account for a less than 100% yield. The same with the uh, copper acetate reaction. There's a small amount of benzyl that has adhered to the beaker. Five minutes later. All right, that's it for this one. That's what this uh, substance looks like there. It's kind of a pale, very pale, light yellow.